population grows, demand for bilingual people in the workplace, schools, and the healthcare system has more than doubled in the last decade. But Spanish language programs have slowly decreased. News Force Rebecca Cardenas met a group of women on a mission to change that. Vamos a estar ahí, okay. Tucked away in a quiet corner of South Nashville. Hello. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, gracias, Hannah. These women are making their voices heard, loud and clear. La justicia lingüística. And with our work teaching Spanish, we want to bring together our multicultural communities here in Nashville um, and also work towards language justice. Becca Blank and Vanessa Neria are two of the brains behind the all-female co-op Voces de Nashville, working to close the language gap in Davidson County. We cannot exist as a city without our Spanish-speaking population. We absolutely cannot. Yo quiero mi madre. Upstairs, they teach a beginner's level Spanish class. Uh, so the, if they want to go to the one Mexican store or one uh, Salvador res restaurant or something like that, they be available to order something in, in Spanish. Uh, quiero unos tacos or quiero unas pupusas. While downstairs, Yes. yes. Future Spanish teachers learn. Almost every week I go into a store and I hear people talking in Spanish. I hear side conversations. I don't know where this is or how do I ask or who do I ask. Uh, and so I'll, I'll come up and I'll say, hey, what can I help you? Uh, but it, it's only me. Anne Moctezuma uh, is passing on her 11-year passion for teaching to native Spanish speakers. It's sharing what I know how to do. Uh, with them so they can now do it and hopefully fall in love with it as much as I love teaching. The idea is that these women will eventually join the co-op as teachers themselves and expand the program's reach. Me gusta comida. This graduating class leaves richer in language and culture. They have the opportunity right here in Nashville to learn those languages in a very authentic, rewarding way that um, can connect them to so many other parts of the city and people in the city. Le vamos a ser ready to make their voices heard, too. We want to unite our community to build these together. For News 4 Nashville, <laughs> I'm Rebecca Cardenas.